What's up, you guys? Nomicon here, bringing you my perspective as to what anything is bringing us. And today, let us talk about my life as a teenage robot, which premiered on Nickelodeon on August 1st, 2003. It proved to be a prominent figure for 2000's Nicktoons with its unique animation style and character designs. The cast for the show are Janice Kawaii, Candy Milo, Shad Doric, Audrey Wozolewski, and Quentin Flynn. The show was created by Rob Renzetti, who originally titled it My Neighbor is a Teenage Robot. He posted the pilot on Oh Yeah Cartoons, which is basically Nick's answer to what a cartoon from Cartoon Network which Renzetti was previously employed by. He worked on several shows for the network, such as The Powerpuff Girls, Robot Jones, and Samurai Jock, before he went to Nick and started creating the Teenage Robot Show. So my life as a teenage robot starts with a robot called XJ9, or as she prefers to be called, Jenny. She was created by Dr. Nora Wakeman. She built various other XJ robots. The reason why she calls Jenny XJ9 is because she is the ninth robot she created. Jenny calls those other robots sisters. They're basically her siblings. All Jenny wanted is to become a regular teenage girl. The problem is she is not human. She is a robot. Because of that, she didn't get an easy transition at school. Thankfully she, ha Thankfully, she has met some humans who can be considered her friends, such as Brad, who is her next-door neighbor, Tucker, who is Brad's younger brother, and Sheldon, who is obsessed with Jenny and has experience with robotic tech. She refuses any... Uh, Jenny refuses any romantic advancements with Sheldon, though. This show is pretty good. I remember during my youth catching up uh, a couple of the episodes during my of the show when it aired on both Nickelodeon and Nicktoons, and I had a fun time with it. I mainly remember Jenny. She had a very unique design, and she was one of my first childhood crushes at the time. There's no huge storyline arcs. They're all one-up episodes, but there are a couple of episodes that do stand out to me. One of my favorites is Speak No Evil. This episode is about Jenny losing her language disc, and due to the fact that she was in Japan had at the time, she had no way of changing her language to English without the disc. And because of that, he had, she had trouble communicating with people whenever trouble arrives in her hometown. I see this as a voice actor joke. Because Janice Kawaii is of Japanese descent. So she could speak the language really fluently. At first, I thought, I thought it was another person speaking Japanese. But it was all Janice. Another one of my favorites is Daydream Believer, where Dr. Wakeman installs a dream chip because Jenny wants to experience what a dream is. The problem is Jenny abused its function and it caused her to be stuck in that and be on sleepwalking mode. What I really like about this episode is that the Daydream mode literally looks like it is straight out of a Dr. Seuss book. Seriously, most of these designs are heavily inspired by Dr. Seuss. It looks so cool. Like... The way the the way the anim the way the animation was looks the way it was styled like dude it it's literally it's literally ripped straight out of a Dr. Seuss book. It looks so cool. Like it really does. But overall, my life as a teenage robot is a pretty solid show that got screwed over heavily by Nick. So what happened was that was that uh, was that although a third season was green lit, they literally they literally canceled it around around 2005. And because of that, the third season wasn't even aired until 2008 on Nicktoons. So yeah, not the first time Nickelodeon has screwed over animation, the uh, their animators, but it this one is a big this one is a big one. I fuck seriously, dude. It's so so fucking stupid. But anyways, it, this show did, did deserve better. Did deserve to be treated better at Nickelodeon. But what we but what we got was a solid forty was a decent forty episode series. And thankfully, this show is not short-lived. There is 40 episodes, which 
I I know for some that's short lived, but there's many shows that don't even have that. A lot of shows only last for like thirteen or six, even six episodes. So the fact that I got forty is absolute is a is kind of a miracle, honestly. So, anyways. For those of you that have watched My Life as a Teenage Robot, do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And make make sure you follow my backlog, Instagram, and letterbox down in the description down below. You can also join my Discord server if you want to. Anyways, this is Namikon, and I'll see you next time.